Well, there wasn't much for Larry Snyder. You know, like uh, I, there, you know, a couple photographs, uh, an appearance by him on, um, I believe it was, uh, you know, This Is Your Life when Jesse Owens was, he, he, you know, he he came out and. Uh, but the biggest gift was, besides the script itself and them living the actual events, was a, a line that, that Jesse had about him in his autobiography about um, Larry being an accidental non-racist. Like, I just, I, 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 that made, for whatever reason, that made sense to me. Uh, maybe not fully in a sense that I can articulate uh, completely or, 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 or well, mm -hmm. but, but I was like, okay, yeah. It's like, it, he, because it's nice, because it, when you play this, when you're, your opposition in the film is either one's own personal baggage or, or the absolute personification of, of uh, human personification of evil, that being Hitler, you know what side of history you, you, you want to be on because it's already happened. Mm -hmm. But that idea of accidental non-racist puts it very much in the present for, for me that I was like, okay, so he's not, and, and it's said numerous times by Larry, I don't care about any of that, I don't care about any of that. But it may, him saying that is like, does he or does he not? But to have the guy that, that you know, started out as, as his as his you know athlete, then became his, his good friend, yeah. to declare this about him, I was kind of like, oh, that makes more sense to me. That it, like it, it it didn't it as it still is now in many ways. Racism is uh, you know it just it, you know underneath the the surface, and they're more overt. But like he didn't subscribe to it. But it doesn't mean he still wasn't sort of like. You know, he wasn't sent, you know, just because there were no black people on the Ohio State team, uh, football team at that point, it didn't mean he wasn't, you know, not going to coach at that place. He just kind of, you know, everybody just kind of was like, yeah. yeah. Me having done a certain amount of work, you know, he knew who I was. I didn't know who he was. Um, so, and yet we're both, you know, like little fledgling ducklings in this world of this, this story. Like for me, you know, I hadn't done, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, Period piece, uh, you know, a drama, uh, uh, you know, set, <laughs> you know, set in, in the in the in the storm of of, of all of the, the the fervor going on around this film, uh, within the film, I should say, and you know, and nor had he. So we we're not too dissimilar. We we're like mm -hmm. being put on this little boat and you know shoved into this giant vast waters you know, known as this the story of Jesse Owens. And numerous times, uh, I can think of you know two or three uh, specifically where we kind of looked at each other. How, do we, how yeah. did this happen? You know, uh, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it was independently financed. You know, and internationally financed is the, is, is is the god honest truth. Um, you know, because if this would have maybe possibly gone through the studio system, you know, Jennifer Lawrence might have played Larry Snyder for heaven's sakes. You know, and and she probably would have been great. Like you know, look awesome in a fedora, etc. But like I, we. So it was that same way. It was that same way through uh, off camera, on camera. I knew the absolute difference between uh, and could feel the difference when when uh, it, it was Larry talking to Jesse. Um, I knew the difference. Uh, I probably blurred the lines a little bit more. Uh, and then when I was talking and hanging out with Stefan playing pinball in Berlin, so I, you know, like it it, it 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 was good. And I, I hope he feels the same way. I wouldn't have said yes to it if if it felt intimidating. The thing that would have felt intimidating is if I had to portray pretend portray this person versus just portray this person. Mm -hmm. Like, it, like I, I'm, I, I believe it's, it, if there's any, if there's a skill that I think I possess, it, it's, it's, uh, or, or I've tried to teach myself to possess, it's to know, to, to not let what I can't do interfere with what I can do. And it felt like this was something I could do. At, at this point in my life, I'm not, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis or Gary Oldman or even from like my, my own family, you know, Bill Hader or, or you know, uh, Chris Nowick or Fred Armisen, like th those guys having a tremendous ability to change, like, like and be different people. And, and I, I'm like in awe of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and getting to work with people like that so closely uh, for, for so many years, like it's almost like I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna try, cause like they should do it, you know? <laughs> so I have to find parts of me within, within a character. And, and there was plenty of that within, within Larry. If you work hard and passionately uh, on, the, on the thing that makes you happy, that you happen to have maybe a skill set for, if you, if you put yourself in the position uh, of doing that every single time you get the opportunity to do it, you, you, you could potentially change the world. And that world could be the world at large or it could be even the world within your neighborhood or even your home or even your you know, relationship with others or yourself. I, I, I do believe that.